everyone, and welcome to our first week in Advent. If you don't know, Advent is a time for us to prepare for the birth of Jesus. And this year, I would like each one of us to celebrate Advent with our families, to prepare for Christmas together. So, this Monday and every Monday in Advent, which is this one and the next three Mondays, I'm going to post a video of a family challenge that you can do with your family to prepare for the birth of Jesus and to share the love of Jesus with others. So this week is our first week together and I would like to talk about the Annunciation of Jesus. When the angel Gabriel came to Mary to tell her what is about to happen, she's about to have a baby and that baby is gonna be Jesus Christ, the savior of the world. Wow. Could you imagine how Mary felt when she got that news? I'm sure she felt so excited, so happy that she was chosen to carry Jesus in her belly. But I bet she was also really, really scared. But I want to read to you Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. Because what she says here at the end really is pretty cool. All right, Luke 1, starting in verse 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, how will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. So when Mary found out that she was going to be having Jesus, she said, Well, I am the Lord's servant, so if this must be done, then let it be done. That's pretty cool. So since the angel Gabriel came to Mary and in verse 28, he says, Greetings, O favored one. I thought for our first family challenge, we should make greeting Christmas cards to spread the joy of Jesus to others. So this is what I want you to do with your family. For each family member in your house, I want you to make a Christmas card or get Christmas cards from the store and write down a few different Bible verses in them that help people prepare for the birth of Jesus. And I want you to pick specific people in your life that need to hear the message of Jesus. Maybe it's your neighbor or maybe it's someone in your family. And you can send them this card and help spread the love of Jesus to them. But before we go, I would like to pray with you. Dear Lord, thank you so much for coming into this world and help us to spread your love to everyone we know and help us to prepare for this season of Advent with our families well. In your name we pray, amen. Once you're done making the Christmas cards for others, feel free to send a picture to me or post the pictures in the comments so other people can see the cards that you're making. I can't wait to see them. I'll see you next time.